Welcome to In 5 Minutes. Today we are going to study a 6 transistor SRAM. What exactly is an SRAM? SRAM is nothing but a static random access memory. Let's understand why it's called a 6 transistor SRAM. For that we need to understand the diagram first. We all know how to make a CMOS inverter. Let's go ahead and make that real quick. There's nothing but my PMOS and it will be connected with an NMOS. Both these inputs would be shorted together. This will be connected to ground and this would be nothing but VDD. This is my inverter number one. I'm also going to make another inverter which I'm going to place in an opposite way. Just see if that makes sense to you. So this is another inverter. Again, as we discussed previously, this is my VDD, this is my ground. Both these inverters need to be cross-coupled. When I say cross-coupled, it only means that output of one inverter needs to be connected to the input of the other one. Does that make sense? The output of the other one needs to be connected to the input of the first. Now let's name this inverters as well. Let's call this inverter 1. Let's call this inverter 2. Let's label all the transistors. Let this be P1. Let this be P2. Let this be N1. Let this be N2. Let's call this node as node A and this node as node B. Also at the output of both this inverters that is node A and node B let's connect an additional NMOS transistor. We'll see what is the use of this very quickly. This is my NMOS. Does that make sense? This is my other one. And what we are going to do is we are going to short the inputs of both this NMOS transistors and we'll call this as word line. If you see one node of both this NMOS transistors is still hanging up in the air. So let's do something about that as well. Let's connect it to a wire. Both of this and let's give this some names. Let's call this as bit and let's call this as bit bar. Mind you, these are just the names. They can both have the same polarity and they can also have opposite polarity. You did not get confused that bit and bit bar always have to be complemented to each other. Again, we'll complete the formality of naming these two NMOS transistors as well. So let's call this as N3 and let's call this for N4. If you see clearly, now I have six transistors in my diagram, P1, P2, N1, N2, N3 and N4. So I have made a six transistor circuit. It's a static random access memory. Static only means that there is some sort of a feedback. In this case, because the inverters are cross coupled, the output of one goes to the input of the other and vice versa. 